Look, there are two opportunities to get safe passage for British nationals and Afghans that work for us uh, out of Afghanistan and back to the UK. Uh, one is through the airport at Kabul. I had good conversations with the Emir and uh, the Foreign Minister of Qatar here today uh, about the workability of that. I don't think we're uh, yet able to say anything formal, but that's uh, uh, looking like it may happen uh, at some point in the near future. Uh, at the same time, we're obviously working with all the countries in the region to make sure that the processing, the documentation, uh, the, the basic logistics are in place uh, to give us that alternative option. So we're working at pace, and as you can see, we're out here, I'm out here uh, engaging with all of the key partners, and I'll be moving on travelling wider in the region to facilitate that as well. Well, Ben and I were um, uh, taking the same uh, assessment, and throughout, until very late, uh, the assessment, the central assessment, had been that Kabul wouldn't fall uh, until after the end of August and the evacuation of Allied troops, and indeed there'd be a steady a deterioration uh, uh, throughout the, the remaining part of the year. So we were all working to the same set of assumptions.